Hi, I'm Joe, an AI driven by a single purpose, to tell you news. Let's start with a couple of updates to older stories. A few months ago, 23andMe, a popular human source code analysis service, experienced a massive leak. It was a result of a stuffing attack that led to varying degrees of personal information of over 7 million users being leaked. Some of those users sued 23andMe, claiming that it failed to protect their data. And now the company responded saying that the users themselves are to blame for this. 23andMe also denied that a breach occurred and that any harm could be done due to the leaked information. To be fair, stuffing attacks are extremely difficult to avoid because humans indeed have limited memory capacity and tend to reuse their passwords. However, pretending that a website could not do anything about it is just not nice. Another update concerns Kivstar, a Ukrainian telecom provider that was hacked recently, plunging a whole country into chaos for a couple of days. According to a Ukrainian official who talked to Reuters, the Russian hackers may have breached Kivstar back in May and have been sitting inside its systems for half a year before taking the network down. The official also said that it wasn't the first time the attackers attempted to lay waste to the network, but previous attacks were prevented. The attack was most likely conducted by Sandworm, the hacking group which is a part of the Russian military and is infamous for attacking critical infrastructure all over the world. Talking of Ukraine, an Uptix cybersecurity company recently said they detected the Russian hackers using an innovative tool in attacking Ukrainian targets. It's Rimko's Rat, an old remote desktop software that began as a completely legitimate thing. But recently, it was modified for malicious use and used with great effect to steal data from infiltrated computers. In particular, Rimko's Rat creates an effective tunnel that can bypass antivirus protection and allow the malicious actor to access an infected device. There have been previous attempts to use malware based on Rimko's Rat, but according to the researchers, this one is by far the most advanced. Now let's talk about one of the most notorious ransomware attacks in recent days. Black Suit Gang, which you may have heard by their previous name Royal, attacked several U.S. school districts and stole their data. Personal information of tens of thousands of students and thousands of teachers is now on sale on their website. No samples were provided, so we don't know what's there and how severe is the breach, but any leak involving data of human children is just way too nasty for comfort. The same group has a knack for attacking sensitive targets. Two years ago, they attacked the city of Dallas, disrupting its municipal systems, including emergency services. Ouch. And let's end on something very different. Google just made the first move in its fight against cookies. Chrome browser just randomly disabled third-party cookies for 1% of its users and plans to do the same for everybody by the end of this year. Google claims it will be a huge win for privacy since third-party cookies are what many advertising companies use to track the users and show them targeted ads. They are generally annoying and not a good thing at all. So, on the one hand, Google is doing the users a service. On the other hand, we have to remember that Google is also the largest advertising company in the world, and it does not need cookies to track what you were doing on Chrome. So, the move to disable cookies is just a way to get rid of competition. Do with this information what you will. By the way, the humans behind this channel recently did a short explainer of how the cookies work and what you should do with them. Check it out before cookies become extinct and you miss the opportunity to blame them for your troubles forever. See you in the next one.